How's it going everyone? What we're going to bring you this week is going to be a Quan Fly. They work great for stuff like bonefish, redfish, black drums, great little shrimpy imitation, good for sight casting fish, especially really shallow water, clear water. We like the chartreuse one here for redfish. You can also tie it in stuff like black and purple for redfish. The uh, little tan and brown one here is the original one for bonefish. Actually what I sight casted my first redfish on down in the Keys. Great little pattern guys, really not that difficult. Hope you enjoy. Alright guys, we're going to tie these little quans on these size 4 shrimp hooks for Mustad. Start your thread right at the hook point on this hook. And then we have some chartreuse barred pseudo hair. Some people prefer this stuff over craft fur. I do like the way it moves. You don't need a big clump. It's just a little tiny light pattern that you can fish in real skinny water. A lot of people get carried away with how much they put on their quans, especially on the heads and tails. Tie it right on top. I do like to throw a loop going underneath it, prevent it from fouling a hair. Now we have some tan UV crystal flash. I just have two strands of it so I can split it in half. So there's two strands on each side of your tail. You can cut that off right at the end of your pseudo hair tail. Then we have some fluorescent orange rooster saddle hackle. And you don't want to get the really thick feathers out of it. The skinnier to medium ones work better for these little patterns. And go ahead and just do four or five wraps forward with that. Those are going to be your little shrimp feelers because these are like little shrimpy patterns for skinny water. Work great for bonefish, redfish, sheep's head, drum, black drum. This one is what we tied for the redfish around here for really spooky reds. Now after you get to there, we have this wool yarn in tan and dark brown. The original way to tie merkin heads and little quan heads. I cut these into little one inch, one and a half inch strips. And I like to start it out here around your thread, wrap it around, then bring it around top, throw a couple tight wraps in front. Now you can open it up and you'll see you already have one wrap going one way and now you can get your figure eight going the other way to lock it in. And you're just building a little Merkin style head. It doesn't take a lot to hold these little pieces of yarn and it makes it pretty simple. A little tip that I can give you guys if you have a hard time tying in between each one doing the figure eights you can get something like a shoelace, a string, come over here, wrap it around all your material, keeps it nice and clean, keeps it out of your way. So since we did a tan one first, next we have a brown, and we're just going to do three of these. So this way guys you can see what we're talking about when we say a figure eight. That way that yarn stays on a flat plane right on top of the hook shank. It's not that hard, just take your time with it. Once you get a hang of it, it's a pretty simple process. It's just the same thing over and over. 
main thing is just put a little more pressure don't build up too many wraps now that you have your little Merkin style Quan head built all that's left for the tying part I like to use these fluorescent chartreuse medium bead chain eyes and we're going to tie those in right in front of that little head you built and then you can go ahead and whip finish this fly finish it off so now that you have the tying part done you can go ahead and unwrap it get your little pieces of yarn separated from your tail and your hackle and what works good for this you can use any kind of brush but these little EP finger brushes work great for this I like to go ahead and brush out my yarn before I cut the shape of the head brush it out nice and good so it's all frizzy and a lot of people cut these Merkin heads a little too big and these Quan heads a little too big the original patterns are little small patterns so just come in here make a nice little circular head try to get them close to symmetrical they don't have to be perfect but remember if you cut them long you can always go back and cut them shorter but if you cut them too short to begin with you already did all that tying and all that for nothing and then last but least not least I like to take a tiny bit of this loon flow I'll put it on my wraps on top put some on the bottom wraps and it seals that little head in and seals all your threads for you this is a great sight fishing redfish fly great for bonefish it's really not that difficult guys Nice, quick, simple quan.